हेलो एवरीवन हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप ऑल इज वेल इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियोज ऑफ द चैप्टर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द बेसिक प्रैक्टिस ऑफ क्रॉप प्रोडक्शन under which we have discussed the first step which is preparation of soil in preparation of soil we have learned how plowing or tilling of soil is done and what are the advantages of tilling the soil now in this video we will be learning about the leveling process manuring process and some of the agricultural implements so let us start after plowing the plowed land is leveled and pressed lightly this is called leveling actually the plowed soil is quite loose so that it is liable to be carried away by strong winds or washed away by rain water the removal of top soil by wind and water is called soil erosion that is why the plowed soil is leveled by pressing it with a woolen leveler or an iron leveler so that the top soil is not blown away by wind or drained off by water and the soil erosion is also prevented this way the leveling is done with the help of a wooden plank or iron leveler the leveling of the plowed soil is beneficial to us because it uh, prevent the top soil from being carried away by the strong winds or it uh, also prevents the top soil from washing away by the rain water and the leveling of plowed fields also helps in the uniform distribution of water in the fields during the irrigation the leveling also helps in preventing the loss of moisture from the plowed soil the soil is uh, the soil leveler is a heavy wooden plank or an iron plank the soil leveler can be pulled by bullocks or manually and by tractors also a leveler can be driven by animals or by a tractor in the field as you can see in the slide the plowed field may have big pieces of soil called crumbs if the soil is very dry it breaks into large mud crumbs during the process of plowing the mud crumbs are then broken down by using a soil plank called crumb crusher the process of leveling also breaks these crumbs as we have discussed that the leveling helps in the uniform distribution of water and manure and it also prevents the soil from erosion manuring manuring means adding manure to the soil sometimes manure is added to the soil before plowing and the addition of the manure to the soil before plowing helps in the proper mixing of manure with the soil manure is first transported to the field and then it is spread out in the field and when this field is plowed the manure gets easily mixed in the soil the manure contains many nutrients required for the growth of crop plants that is why manuring is done to increase the fertility of the soil before seeds are sown into it 
and once the soil is ploughed, leveled and manured, it is ready for the sowing of seeds. The soil is watered also before sowing. Before uh, moving to the seeds, it is uh, very uh, necessary to loosen and turn the soil in the field so as to break it to the size of grains. The loosening and turning of soil in the field is done with the help of various agricultural implements. What is agricultural implement? The various tools that are needed during agricultural practices are called agricultural implement. Some of the uh, main agricultural implement or you can say the tools uh, which are used for loosening and turning the soil are plow, hoe and cultivator about which we will be discussing in this video. These are some of the various tools that are needed during uh, agricultural practices. They are also known as agricultural implements. This is plow. So let's uh, read in detail about plow. It is generally made up of wood. It is a large agricultural implement which is used for plowing or you can see which is used for tilling the soil in the field. The traditionally used wooden plow is shown here. The wooden plow consists of a long log of wood which is called plow shaft. And there is a handle at one end of the plow shaft and before the handle is a strong uh, triangular iron strip called plow shear. One pair of bulls and a man can operate the plow. You can see here the traditionally used plow which is made up of wood. The, under, uh, the other end of the plow shaft can be attached to a wooden beam which is fixed at right angle to the plow shaft. And this beam is only placed over the neck of the two bullocks or uh, oxen uh, so as to pull the plow. And thus the plow is drawn by a pair of bullocks or other animal also can uh, draw it like a buffaloes, camels etc. And uh, when the plow is pulled by bullocks, the farmers hold the handle of the plow and presses down the handle due to which the plow shear digs into the soil and loosens it and turns it. Nowadays, uh, the traditional wooden plow is increasingly being replaced by the iron plow. Now the next one is hoe. Hoe is an agricultural implement that is used for uh, loosening and turning the soil and it is also used for removing weeds. There is a handle having grip at one end of the hoe uh, and a strong, broad and bent plate of iron is fixed below the handle which acts like a blade. As you can see here, the other end of hoe has a beam which is put on the neck of the bullocks and thus a hoe is also pulled by animals such as a pair of bullocks and it is a kind of a modified plow you can see. See here, this beam is placed on the neck of the bulls. The next one is cultivator. Cultivator is an agricultural implement that is driven by a tractor. It is a tractor driven agricultural implement which is used for loosening and turning the soil in the fields quickly. 
A cultivator has many plowshares which can dig into a considerable area of soil at the same time. At the same time, it loosens the soil and turn it. And due to this, many fields can be plowed or tilled in a short time by using a cultivator. It saves labor and time. Nowadays, plowing of large field is done by using the tractor-driven cultivators. Now, I hope you all are very clear about the process of leveling and manuring and we are very well familiar with the agricultural implements like plow, hoe and cultivator. So, that's all for now. In our next videos, we will be discussing about the uh, some more basic properties of, uh, sorry, basic practices of crop production. So let us recapitulate what we have learned till now. The various tools that are needed during agricultural practices are called agricultural implements. Some agricultural implements are plow, hoe and cultivator. A plow mainly consists of a plow shear and plow shaft. A plow is used for tilling and turning the soil, adding fertilizers in soil and for removing the weeds. A hoe is an agricultural implement that is used for loosening of soil and removing weeds. A cultivator is driven by tractor and used for plowing. After plowing, leveling is done. Leveling is done with the help of a wooden plank or iron leveler and leveling breaks the crumbs that is the big pieces of soil. It also helps in the uniform distribution of water and manure as well as prevents the soil erosion. So now we will meet in our next video till then keep learning keep reading thank you.